Hi, I'm Phil Bridges, owner of Straight Arrow Repair. Ever want to know how a repairman fixes things? Well, come with me and I'll show you how I solve problems. Let's make things better together. Hey, what you doing here? We're getting ready to tear out a shower. You want to come along with us? This is a mobile home shower. The hinge the door. These little plastic things right here. The way they're put in is they have a hole there and it has a nail sticking out. And you drive this little plastic nail down flush and it spreads out the deal and holds in the drywall. So we're not going to be able to save any of that, nor am I trying to. There's Phillips head screws to pull out the door jam and the door. I'm trying to see if I can probably take an oscillating saw or some kind of saw, razor knife, and cut these. But that's what we're going to do next. There's some square drive the, underneath the flange there. All right, I'm not going to be able to cut that. Uh, it's about a long time. So you can get a square drive bit, drop, pull that out, and then we'll take an oscillating saw and cut that out or saw it or something. We could probably just rip it off, but this will hold the square drive tip. Fastened. I can just pull those out of that cheapy three inch drywall. Probably. Oh, I got it stuck on pretty good. Yeah. 
that and pull right up. Just like that. Another more. No. Should be a one piece. Oh, it's coming out. The wood. Here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut around this. Oh, hold it. Around what? The faucet? The faucet. This so thing can't go that high. Typically, this one looks like a squirrel.
Alright, so we took the shower head. And now we're going to take this nut that holds. There's another nut on the back side of this drywall. That's why you see a lot of mobile homes shower heads tore up. So you got to take the hold that shower head and then spin it. That's threads in there. That's threads on the shower head itself. Then on the other side. Take off the screws here. Pretty much just stuck up there. Stuck on the paint mostly. Notice right here, there's a nut that holds the water to the shower head, and then there's a nut behind it. See, there's a black nut behind that gray one. So, we're going to take this here, Liz, if we can. Let me hold one behind. May have to. You tilt it up. Coming up. It's stiff. Been on there 30 years or more. Alright. Hold on. Let me just have it this way. So, you can see where they use like a piece of paneling for a washer. And that nut, and I had another nut on this side, which goes like that. And the drywall's in between. A lot of times you'll see this tore out, but not this time. Now, we're going to shut the water off, put plugs in the, the water lines, put them below the floor. And I think that will be it on the demolition of this thing. See you in a bit. So I have some thanks cutters. And uh, I'm going to cut the, those up to the shower head. This is what the drain looked like after years of leaking. Looking pretty bad. Now we're going to cut down here, put some plugs on it, and then tuck it down below the floor. You could leave it in the wall for that matter. from the faucets coming to me. <clears throat> this is what a plug looks like. On Quest or this gray pipe, I use two 
crimp range because guess what? Oftentimes, the silly things will leak if you don't. <clears throat> this one being cantankerous because it's got that red tape on it. Now, if water comes continuously comes out of the pipe, not at high pressure, what does that mean? What? If water comes out of the pipe, not at high pressure, means that the water from the water heater. <clears throat> you could be lower than your water heater, and it could keep on coming until it goes below the the relief valve on the water heater. But in this case, we're okay. Some of them, I think their water's on, man. Right. Oh, Usually good. that happens when you're close to the water heater. Or below the trailer. <laughs> below the trailer, it never ends. And you want to make sure you, when you drain your water that you... <clears throat> you run a hose. That you turn the electricity off if you have an electric water heater, because otherwise you to burn the top element. And then you don't have hot water heater. You have warm, very, very... Barely warm water. You'd be missing hot water. Yeah, you'd be like, oh, I know what hot water used to be like. This is a Apollo uh, brand crimper. It's ratchet and has a little light right there. It tells you when you're good. But I just go to it. Stop. So now we've got those done. We should be able to pull this out. And then you can look at what the back of that looks like. This one's been leaking for a while. So. There you go, Dad. Lick it. Uh, I'm not in a mood to be black mold. I'm not worried about that at all. I'm not allergic to it. One time I'll be allergic to black molds when I'm allergic to work. <clears throat> okay. Now, we uh, go to the customer and ask what they want us to do. But we wanted to let you know that you can tear out this tub or shower and you can do it yourself and that's what you're up against and what you need to do. Ta -da. This is Phil Bridges. If you like what you saw, you think it might be helpful to somebody else, push that like button and let other people know what you and I now know. And we'll work together toward making a brighter future. And by the way, we're not Americans, we're Americans. See you next time.